Greetings, Nancy Ruby here, back with you to speak a little bit more about Yoga for Healthy Aging. So last time I spoke about compressed morbidity, which is the increase of our health span, living a healthier life longer. And today I want to talk to you about the second component of healthy aging, which is independence. Independence is that which allows us to live more fully on our own. And according to our healthcare system and our insurance companies, the way that independence is defined is the ability to dress oneself, bathe oneself, um, be able to get up and out of a chair unaided and to be able to do some light housekeeping so we can keep our environment healthy. And these are our basic needs being met. However, there's two other components that we added to this definition of independence in our Yoga for Healthy Aging course, and that is doing what you love and doing for others. And when we bring in the activities of the things that we truly love that feed our soul and our creativity, those are the actions that are going to enhance our life well into our later years. So those may be social activities. Perhaps you like going out to the theater to hear music, to see plays. Maybe you like to be involved in your community, either in the community uh, fundraising or perhaps you're in politics or you're involved with different groups within your town, organizations, and you like to go out to those meetings and be involved. Or perhaps it's your creative endeavors. It might be artistic. Perhaps you're a musician or an artist, or you just like to do crafts. And these are the things that give us that joy in our heart when we get to express ourselves through different mediums. And it's also the idea of being involved um, culturally and intellectually. I know for me, I really imagine myself teaching forever. I love studying and learning new material and then working with it until I really understand it and then turning around and offering it to my students. So for me, that's a really important aspect of both my intellectual and social activity. And it feeds my soul to learn and study and grow and then share that. And I met um, the Guinness World Book of Records oldest yoga teacher right here in Helena, Montana. She came to visit. Her name is Dow Portion Lynch. And at the age of 92, when I met her, she spoke highly about maintaining enthusiasm for life. And then every day she awoke, it was, wow, this is going to be the best day ever. And she's still teaching yoga, and she's still competitively ballroom dancing. She's now 96 or 97, and she is enjoying her life. So there's a big piece of us that needs to be fed, our heartfelt part. And so recognizing what's important to our hearts, what keeps us alive on the inside. And secondly is what do we do for others? So when we can gift others a part of ourselves, what are we giving? It may be simply reading to your grandchildren or volunteering in your community or offering a teaching or simply sharing your wisdom. You know, we get to be around for many, many, many decades. We have this wisdom to share and to even just share your stories with those that are younger. There's so much knowledge to be experienced through that exchange, and there's so much love that can be experienced through that exchange. So that's a big piece of healthy aging, doing what we love and doing for others. Now, in order to maintain this ability, it's really important that we maintain our health in a way that we're strong enough, we have enough mobility, and our mind is clear, and we have the opportunity to move through life in a way that feels comfortable and graceful. So in order to maintain our independence, the toolbox of yoga offers us ways to increase our physical health through physical strengthening of our muscles and our bones and our heart. It helps us to maintain our circulation and range of motion and the fluidity within our body so all our systems are working together. And we do a lot of work with agility and 
um, brain health, so working with right-left brain stimulation so that our brain stays clear and our memory lasts longer. These are all the things that are really important as we age because the body does tend to wear out. That is the truth. So we need to be able to do things in order to maintain the health of the body or time and age are simply going to decrease those opportunities for sharing more of ourselves in this world. So regular yoga practice, when it's modified over time according to our abilities each day, this will help us to keep ourselves able-bodied and rather than sliding into a state of weakness and stiffness through uh, that results when we uh, lead a sedentary life is that we want to stay active, as active as is appropriate for our age and abilities. And the more active we stay throughout our life, the more active we will be throughout our life. So independence, I'd like you to consider what is it that you love to do, what feeds your soul, could be physical activities. We have a very active community here in Bozeman. There's plenty of people out there on the ski hill well into their 80s and enjoying the beauty of nature. I didn't mention that part when I was going through the list of things we love. So getting outside in nature, gardening, enjoying the activities of the world around you. These are the things that will keep us feeling youthful at any age. So consider these things and help come help build your own toolbox by keeping your mind and your body and your soul well taken care of. Nourish yourself and live a life that fulfills your heart's desires. Namaste.